So if you saw yesterday's video, um, you saw that I, I found some truth uh, in, the, uh, in the genealogy of Jesus in the, the third verse of the first chapter of Matthew. And we're still in that verse because um, Perez, which was one of the children of um, Judah and Tamar, he had a son named Hezron, which means surrounded, and Ram means, which is the son of Hezron, means exalted. So you've got Perez, Hezron, and Ram, which are the, the father, son, and grandson. And then you've got the, the meanings of their name is breach, surrounded, and exalted. So it made me think that breach or, or experiencing a breakthrough, when it is, when it gives birth to, to surround it, which makes me think of boundaries and just surrounding yourself with good values and good people, it will lead to being exalted. Now you might say that's a little bit of a stretch, but it really made me think of Solomon especially. So if you read um, 1 Kings chapter 11, which is a very sad chapter, the reason why it is so sad is because you've got Solomon, the son of David, who, who asked God for wisdom that was more important than anything, and he got it, and along with that he got riches. Um, it tells us that he married too many women, and he married women of um, different countries and different religions, and so that what they did was they um, they caused Solomon to turn his heart away from God. Isn't that awful? So we've got a man who experienced great breakthrough. You know, he he was a king, and he didn't know what he was doing, and God blessed him with wisdom and riches, and he didn't surround himself with the right values and the right people. And instead of remaining exalted by God, he actually had to be rebuked and the kingdom would, would for the most part be taken away from his son. It says that his son would be able to rule at least one of the um, tribes of Israel. But that's a real good example, a real bad and sad example that when we experience success, which we should, you know, if you are doing things God's way, if you're humble, if you're worshiping him, and I'm telling you, you know, you succeed in the Christian life, life by praising. You praise your way um, to success in the Christian life. You know, we're saved by grace through faith, and I believe we overcome in our Christian walk by grace through faith, by believing because our beliefs dictate our actions. Um, and so when we experience um, success and breakthrough in life and, and we're walking with God, we have got to make sure that we surround ourselves with good values and good people so that God can exalt us. Or else we're going to end up like Solomon. Solomon did not surround, keep himself surrounded and um, you know, by good people and good values. And for that he had to be rebu rebuked instead of exalted. So don't be like that. Allow your success to give birth to good values, good people, surround yourself with them, and then that's going to give birth to you being exalted.